So the latest on that Royal Caribbean cruise heading back to New Jersey this morning. After getting caught in hurricane force winds, we've got a map now showing its last known position. ABC's Lindsay Davis is in Bayonne, New Jersey with the very latest. Good morning to you, Lindsay. Good morning, Lyra. That ship is expected to return here tomorrow morning so they wouldn't have to endure yet another storm. Some of the first hand accounts from passengers are really quite terrifying. Among those on board, the editor of the Detroit Free Press, who says at one point the ship tilted so far that he told his wife he was scared and he loved her. Whoa, look at this. Look. Take a look at this new video. Rough seas ultimately causing the Royal Caribbean cruise ship to turn around. This morning, the ship is on its way back to New Jersey after hurricane force winds gusting over 100 miles per hour and 30 to 40 foot waves prevented it from making it to its final destination of the Bahamas. The ship was really rocking back and forth and tipping side to side and cabinets were slamming open. Passengers use cell phones to capture scenes that look like they were right out of the Titanic. Flying furniture and shattered glass as massive waves pounded the anthem of the seas as it moved right into a rough storm off the Carolina coast not long after leaving New Jersey over the weekend. The captain ordering the 4,500 passengers and 1,600 crew members to stay in their rooms for hours. The amount that things were Shifting around our room was a little frightening. Four passengers suffered minor injuries. Now some on board blame the captain. I'm uh, really concerned about the captain's judgment in this situation. I really resent the fact that he put 6,000 people's lives at risk, taking us into a storm that was predicted. Royal Caribbean apologized to passengers in a statement Monday, adding, while the weather was unpleasant, the ship remained seaworthy at all times. We thank the captain and crew for guiding the ship safely back to better weather. The cruise line is promising a full refund to all passengers and a 50% discount for a future cruise. One senator is calling for an NTSB investigation into why the cruise ship left the port in the first place when a, a storm was in the forecast for days. Mm. Lara? That is a very good question. Thank you so much, Lindsay.